Today I'm talking about the time that I bought a bunch of junk at an antique shop and made a creative music video out of it. Let's get into it. So first off, why did I buy a bunch of junk from an antique shop? And the answer is simple. I have a weird recent obsession with buying retro old tech. So I happen to live down the street from an antique shop that's like three floors high and just has like everything you can imagine. So the story of how I got all this equipment for this music video is actually kind of crazy. Cause when I went to the antique shop to look at this projector, I saw a cart with an old TV on it. And I just spent the previous three days on eBay looking for an old vintage TV, like an old CRT TV with knobs and like fun colors or whatever. And I had given up just cause shipping was like 50, 60 bucks. I see this TV sitting on a cart covered in a bunch of crap and there's an old Atari underneath it and joysticks and all this cool stuff. So I go over to it and I don't see a tag or anything like that. And I find the guy who owns the shop and ask him what he wants for the TV. He told me he hadn't sifted through it yet. It was just sitting out because he was cleaning out his storage area. He offered 250 for the Atari and the TV. Now I didn't technically want the Atari. So I tried to just talk him down 200 for both of them because that was a little bit less than what I would spend on eBay. So I figured it was a good deal. So he said he would do it if I did cash right then. And so I said I would look around a little bit and then get cash afterwards and I would pick it up from him. So I'm looking around, I find a couple projectors and I'm looking at them for like 10, 15 minutes to see if it's worth it. Plus on top of the money that I'm already spending on the, on the TV and Atari. So after I was done looking at the projectors, I went to the owner to tell him I'd be back with cash in the next 30 minutes. Apparently he'd noticed I was looking at the projectors and asked if I wanted them. And I said, probably not this time. It's just a little bit too much money. And he said, how about 250 for two projectors, TV, cart, Atari, a game and the controllers. So I said, I'll be right back. That was an awesome deal. I was so hyped. I was like literally like giggling in my car. Couldn't contain myself. Grabbed 250 cash and all of it was mine. So that's basically how I got all this equipment. And I knew I wanted to do something quickly with this and get creative with this stuff and use it in some kind of cinematic capacity. And so that's why we shot this music video. And I should probably say, this is technically not a music video. It's more of a visualizer for an acoustic version of Wait For Me If You Will by Hugh Lindsay. If you don't know what a visualizer is, it's basically um, a music video that has no actual story, deeper meaning to the song or anything like that. It's more of like, a visual that is eye candy while, while you listen to the song. So Hugh and I met up and came up with a pretty simple idea for the visualizer. And we found a really dope location at a guitar workshop actually. It was a perfect location because I was looking for like an open room that I could make extremely dark. You wouldn't really know what's going on in the background or around the scene, but I could light it the way I want and, and have a big open kind of uh, workshop warehouse kind of feel. Uh, but with my own lighting. And also there were just two green velvety couches there already. And that just added to the kind of retro vintage scene that I was trying to build up with these TVs. So I went perfectly with the whole entire vibe of the video. And I think my favorite part of using old retro tech in music videos is because when you HDMI modern video and visual elements onto these old TVs, it is so dope. So to really utilize these TVs and projecting things onto it, for the performance shots with Hugh, I had him sit on top of the, the big TV and I projected the lyrics that were in time with the song. So that way it was just something more interesting than him just performing and sitting there, especially because it is more of a chill acoustic song. If you're wondering how I get a modern HDMI cable hook up to work with an old CRT TV, this is how. So most TVs have a coax input on the back and you can just get a coax HDMI converter, which you can only get on Amazon right now. Now my smaller, older CRT TV doesn't have a coax input in the back. So I had to add a step to it by adding a VHF converter to the VHF inputs in the back of the TV, which are just two little screws that you clamp down on these little metal prongs. And then your coax to HDMI converter hooks into the VHF converter and then that goes into your laptop with HDMI. So sounds complicated, but once you order all the parts off Amazon, it's super easy and it works flawlessly. So that first scene with Hugh and the TV is pretty simple and straightforward. And I didn't want it to be too boring with just that for the whole visualizer. So I decided to do a scene that we could cut away to every now and then that would be a lot more interesting and it would really use and show the retro tech that I bought. And to make it real cohesive with the whole story of the last two music videos and the two that are coming up, we decided to incorporate a character from the music video Halloween. And for this 
scene, I kind of wanted a cinematic, uh, dark, borderline creepy um, atmosphere with this character watching Wait For Me, if you will, on the old CRT TV while scribbling frantically in his little notebook or, or pieces of paper. And so to achieve that kind of creepy look, I had the TV straight in front of him with the couches, kind of making a living room kind of feel. So his main key light sort of was the TV and the shots where I wasn't showing the TV screen, I had two aperture MC lights magnetized to the cart that the TV was on. And those were on the Flickr TV setting. And that really helped light his face and make it look really cinematic. And then just to help that key light, I had a real key light, which was a big 35 inch soft box off to the side. And then I had a Nanlite Pabo tube behind him set to a real desaturated kind of teal uh, just to give him that um, bluish kind of glow behind him and then give him a nice hair light or the lack thereof, I guess. So that was the lighting setup and that was the whole scene and nothing ever changed. I just basically got a bunch of B-roll of him sitting there scribbling notes and being creepy with the TV. And then at the location, there was also these old vase glass lamps that they were just sitting around there. So I threw one on each side of him just to add some, some tungsten um, accent lighting, some practicals. And I feel like that really helped kind of tie in the whole entire scene and make it feel like this retro, um, dark, creepy living room. And besides just getting B-roll of the character scribbling on paper, this is a great opportunity to film the retro tech that I'd gotten. And we did that with the intro shot, with the close-ups of, of knobs turning, and we got to show him changing the channel onto the HDMI channel, which is really cool with the natural kind of like uh, static that comes out of it and then your image pops up. And then not just using the TV, but on top of the TV, we threw a tape to tape recorder. I threw that on top of the TV just to kind of add some more to it. And I wanted some more movement besides just the TV flickering. So after we shot way too much B-roll of that, um, that was basically it. That was the whole visualizer. All in all, this was super easy and straightforward, super fun to make, to get creative. And the retro tech that I thrifted, if you will, uh, came in handy and I can't wait to use it again. I think it's a great thing to get uh, if you make music videos. It just looks awesome, like every time. And it doesn't have to be a crazy setup. You can just film it with some haze and a key light and you're done, that's it, and it looks awesome. All right, so the only thing left to do is to watch this visualizer. It was filmed on the Blackmagic 6K Pro, edited in Premiere Pro, and color graded in Resolve. So turn up that volume, make a full screen, Let's go. Second story window, cut off all our hair and strip out of our clothes. Go get lost in the woods where we grew up. I just wanted to do it with you. Could have had the perfect home, a little two-story white house where we'd raise our kids with the dog. They could run and play in the yard and throw water balloons at the people who pass by in cars. Would have been a merry life if you had stuck to our vows and lived a merry life. You couldn't wait. Outside, six thirty in the morning, we could wet our hair in the summer dew. 
Talk it all over with a cup of coffee Like we always used to do We could throw our phone out the second story window Cut off all our hair and strip out of our clothes Go get lost in the woods where you grew up I just wanted to do 